Astronomers now believe that every star in the galaxy has at least one planet and that as many as one-fifth of those are Earth-like and able to harbor life. But so far, we've only detected these so-called exoplanets indirectly by seeing how they dim the light from their stars as they pass in front of them. In the next decade, astronomers hope to build a space telescope able to image an Earth-like planet orbiting another star and determine whether it might be able to harbor life. Professor Jeremy Kasdin of Princeton University and the NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory are working on technology that will enable us to do that. The problem is that light from stars is 10 billion times brighter than any planet orbiting them. So, in order to see exoplanets, we need to dim the light from that star. What's needed is a star shade that can be placed between the space telescope and the star. The star shade will be about the size of half a football field and will have to fly 50,000 kilometers away from the telescope. But a design like this doesn't work very well because the light waves diffract around the screen like water bending around a rock, destroying any chance of seeing planets. One solution was first suggested by Lyman Spitzer, the father of space telescopes. He suggested that if we soften the edges of the star screen, we can control the diffraction, letting us see planets. This is known as the flower petal star shade. If the edges of these petals are made exactly right, diffraction of the star's light can be controlled to create a shadow in which we can see the planets. This is not science fiction. The first half-scale sunshade has already been made at Northrop Grumman in California, and its petals unfilled exactly as they should.